Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how you can bring asset packs that are like from older versions into your uh, newer current version. Now, disclaimer, this is not a guarantee that it may work on all cases because there are some parts of the engine that change. For instance, in this new version, 4.25, we got massive changes in a brand new uh, audio engine. So it, it is highly possible that for some things, it may not work, but I'm going to show you anyway so that you can at least test it out. So if we come into this mannequin, which is the mobile version, right? We see that the supporting engine version is 4.8. That's all we get. So I have a, pro a project here called multiplayer test and we're going to add it to this. So we're going to click on add to project and nothing's going to show up, right? And at this point, what I would used to do is like I would download I would download the latest version that is shown in the asset pack and then I would migrate it, right? But you can do this. You can show all projects. You can select yours, right? And then it's going to still complain that it's not supported, but you click on the latest one in here. And, oh, my mistake. There you go. And we add to project. And it got added to the project, so now if we open it, there we go. And this, um, I made a couple of tests, and this shouldn't change the, the the current version of your project, right? So I don't know why you got that drop down um, that you have to choose like the the latest version that is supported maybe that's some sort of conversion update and we can see in here that we got the unreal engine mannequin and if we bring up the mesh there you go and if you're wondering what's the difference I think it's just the geometry that they use. You can see you can see how dense this is compared to this one. Silhouette silhouette wise, they're almost identical. And you really gotta get into there to see the difference. But anyway, guys, uh, this is like a short thing that I wanted to show you. Um, I I lost plenty of time um, myself, like trying to download the version of the engine. And the fact that you could do this, it's mind blowing. So yeah, just putting the content out there. So let me know if you like it and let me know if you actually know what happens in the background when you do add this thing. So that's all for today. See you guys.